Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the layers of the rigid payment. The rigid payment is a special type of payment where it has been made up of, of rigid material. And this rigid material has high flexure rigidity. And due to which it shows very little deflection under high loading, it is because of the high modulus of elasticity of the material used in the construction of a rigid payment. The rigid payment is made up of high strength material. We call such type of material is the concrete. So the concrete has high flexure rigidity, high flexure rigidity and also it has high modulus of elasticity high modulus of elasticity so it can take high load and shows very little deflection so such type of payment is called is the rigid payment there are different layers used in the construction of the rigid payment the bottom layer is known as the subgrid layer and this layer is usually an existing soil layer an ex existing soil layer so we don't need to we don't need to bring the soil from outside the site but this layer is already placed on the site and we just compare this layer to a certain degree so this layer is known as the subgrid layer and this is usually an existing layer of the soil so on the top of the subgrid soil subgrid layer we bring the sub base course sub base course and this layer is also known as the frost protection layer frost protection layer because this layer is used to resist the formation of the frost during the cold weather condition there is formation of the frost in the soil so this layer helps to resist the formation of the frost so on the top of the sub base course we have a base course base course and this layer helps to take the load from the top layer and distribute into the sub base course and sub base course then transfer the load to the subgrid layer so in this way the load is distributed from the top layer to the bottom layers but on the top of the base course there is a concrete slab provided and due to this concrete slab this payment is known as the rigid payment there is a concrete slab provided on the top of the sub base on the top of the base course and the depth or the thickness of the concrete slab depends on the traffic load so the traffic load comes on the concrete slab and concrete slab is high friction rigidity and it can take the high amount of load and due to its high elasticity it shows very little deflection and then concrete slab transfer the load to the base course and then to the sub base course and then to the subgrid layer so in this way the load has been transferred through the layers but concrete slab is a material that differentiate the rigid payment from the flexible payment in case of the flexible payment we don't need to provide any type of the concrete material but in case of the rigid payment we provide the concrete slab which differentiate the rigid payment from the flexible payment and also concrete slab should be provided with the two joints one is called is the transverse joint and one is known as the longitudinal joint two types of the joints are provided in the concrete slab in order to resist the thermal stresses in the slab hope you guys understand the different layers used in the construction of the rigid payment and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.